I'm uh, Michel Kelly-Gagnon, president of the Montreal Economic Institute, the public policy think tank. We have a total of nine columns in different mainstream uh, newspapers. So we have a potential outreach each week of 9.6 million Canadians. So we can work both on the climate of opinion, broadly speaking, through the media, but also with policymakers and the specific policies that they craft. Regarding healthcare and the healthcare system, in economically developed countries, the vast majority of the population will not be willing to say, here's someone who needs critical care of healthcare, and for whatever reason, he has not saved enough, okay, or he's not covered enough. And so, tough luck, you know, we're in a free society, you just had to take care of yourself or go to a private charity, and if you can't, you know, well, tough luck, you'll die. The majority of the population will think that if there is someone who's affected by a curable disease that could put his life in danger, and this person doesn't have the private means to take care of himself, that there is some sort of government mechanism of some sort that will take care of him. That, I think that's just the political reality. So once, once you've established that, that this, is, that this is how it's going to be, how do you entice and facilitate more private charities? How do you find more and more private solutions, but organized in a way that does cater to the fact that we don't live in societies that will allow our fellow citizens to die from curable disease just because they weren't able to properly manage their own personal affairs. Now, as far as expenses, the fact that the American system is quote unquote more expensive than the Canadian system, well then to that I answer, you know, that a Mercedes is indeed more expensive than a Toyota Corolla. There are certain types of health treatment that are only available to the richest people but because they're available and because you have people that are willing to pay for those treatments, then eventually they'll become more economical and the whole world will benefit from it. So I say thank God that the U.S. has a more expensive system uh, because it's the whole world who will benefit from it eventually. That being said, I mean, do you guys have uh, problems of third-party payments? Do you guys have problems, you know, of, of over-coverage that is dictated through political lobbying, you know, that forces you know, Viagra pills to be available for free for people who are 30 years old and want to buy health coverage? These are policy problems that jack up the price of your overall system for the wrong reasons, but you also have top-notch care that also jack up the total prices. But in that case, you know, it's perfectly justifiable and it's actually a very good thing, both for Americans and for mankind.